Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Legends of Runeterra. We are playing some Talia Ziggs today. It's like one of my favorite decks of all time. And even after the expansion, it's still posting a pretty solid win rate. So I thought we'd give it a go, see if we can start our climb towards Diamond. Um, honestly, I've I've really struggled this season on a lot of decks. Like a lot of the new, like the Annie Ezreal, uh, the Annie Jin, a lot of the stuff I haven't been super great on. But Talia Ziggs, it's like, it's like my rock, get it? I've, I have a really solid win rate with this. And... I think it's still a lot of fun, and it's still pretty solid in a lot of the decks in the format. So I figured we'd give it a shot and see how we can do today. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget you can always come join by on Twitch to come chat and everything. Oh, okay, so this is the, the concurrent timeline stack. Very interesting. Um, that's not an awful hand. Let us see, though. Um, I guess Chemist isn't a bad turn to play because if you hit your Desert Naturalist afterwards, it feels pretty good. Uh, probably just gonna go dip out. Always a solid card. Puts out some damage. Kind of makes it awkward for your opponent because they don't want to kill it or anything. I like how it feels like every day there's like a fancy new deck coming out, right? It was like that Viego Legion Deserter deck for a bit, and then it was the Concurrent Timelines deck, right? I love how it's. Um, I think I'll take this trade. We have to clear their board eventually, right? This deck runs Revna, right? That's kind of fun. Ooh, that's tempting too. Oh, okay. Um. Sure. One step ahead. I think we're fine with this. Well, we're gonna have to take the traps, but we can rock copper into right of the arcane. What are they gonna be playing on turn four? Aloof? Hmm. Oh no, our Portalia. Probably gonna lose here if they have Aloof. Hopefully they'll be hesitant to play anything here. Okay. I think we still just go here. Oh, you know what? I probably should have let- I, I, I kind of want the push to the damage now though, right? If we kill a Caitlyn, the, we can pull the 2-2 two -two, and then we can push a lot of damage here. But there's also an argument to be made to like destroy the Scrappy Bomb. Wow. Okay. That's nice for them actually. It's kind of difficult for us to deal with, isn't it? I still think we just get another thing. Like, it stops a little bit of damage, but there's no way they'd go with it. Wow, really? Huh. I think we're okay with that. They had to use the Troll Chant and still lost to Caitlyn in the end, right? They'll get to play one thing before we can get some Unra Unravel Earth down. Alright, Ziggs is all set. Rats. Oh, that's actually really bad. <laughs> I guess it's only four damage, right? It's not the end of the world, but... Hmm. I guess we go to Leah. I mean, maybe if we dress something else, but... It'll be our only play, really. I'm almost tempted to pass as I pass back. Because I don't think Artelia is going to ever kill that Trindle. They could even just stand swap right away. We could still even go this right here. Pretty much just like an explosive minefield. Whoa, that's really aggressive, my dude. We're very okay with that. They just used their whole turn on that, right? Like, they could have done a lot of stuff that turn. Because I, I was, like, hesitant about even attacking in the first place, so... I think we're okay with that. I 
I'm almost tempted to to leave a stone weaving looking for that like Targon card that draws you creates like two celestial cards after a turn or two or whatever it is. That could actually be really nice to try to find an Equinox. Really? I do want to find a Zig soon. I'm very worried about the Baird and Ice combo though. So if we find a Ride of Negation, that'd actually be pretty cool too. Let me know if the mic's too far or anything too. I'm never sure how loud I sound. <laughs> uh, I think we'll take that. Sure. Do we just draw again? I think we do. Oh, okay. There's no way they take that, right? Whoa. Okay, I think we'll offer the trade. Or at least try to. Because we don't need all of these Rolling Sands, right? <laughs> Aw, cute. I don't know who she's talking to there. The desert likes you, she's talking like the devout. <laughs> okay, well we got rid of one trundle. That feels good. And still did a chunk of damage. Wow, they're actually like... Oh, hold on a second. What if they... Huh. Okay, I really, really hope they uh, buried an ice right here so we can copy our Talia. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's look for a right negation, I think, at this point. Or our zigs. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what do we go here? We have a Tilia, another Tilia. Do we look for the Overwhelm? I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I think we do, though. Right? Right? Oh, goodness, that's so insane. I think I think we go Hourglass. I really don't want to die to the very nice eventually. combo. Huh. But would it even matter? I don't think it would matter, because she just- Talia wouldn't be big enough anyways. So yeah, since we have Hourglass, we can do this. Oh. That's kind of nice. Or Raven Bloom. I don't know. We have five of that? That should be kind of funny. That would increase Talia's thing. That's actually kind of funny. Let's go with that. I like that. <laughs> what if that counted as three skills? Her, her threaded volley? That'd be hilarious. Oh, Talia's... Vulnerable, that's a bit bad. Timelines? Sure. Okay, we're not gonna play yet. We're gonna wait to see what they do. Because they're probably going to play there. Yeah. So this could get pretty bad. Hopefully we'll be able to get one blocker out and still have quicksand available. Ooh, this is looking dangerous. So, I don't even know if we're going to get to our next turn at this point, but... Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, I still think we have to pass, though. Because they still have 9 mana up, right? Hopefully, like, they're scared of something. <laughs> I'm pretty much just playing around another at that stairs, though. Or up there, nice, I mean. Oh, really? Thank you. I'll take that, actually, very happily. That's a lot of damage. Wow, that's actually really bad. I forgot they were both vulnerable, so... Alright, one health. Does this deck play any burn? I think it does play Mystic Shot, right? Or Battle Fury? <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> what could you do about that? Interesting. Man, ah, I hate losing that. was like one turn combos. It's so frustrating. We were so close. But I don't know what I should have done differently there.
Maybe it's, we shouldn't even kill that first trundle. But like, how, are you, how am I supposed to get, know that in the real time, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, what if we, like, if we left it alive, he wouldn't get that second pillar? Oh, this is a really solid start, actually. I like that. Wow, this is a very nice little curve. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. Hmm. What if we pass? No, I don't think we should, because we can it's we can play devout next turn. We will take that pass though. I don't know what they want to develop, but Oh sweet. It's fine for us. Ooh. That's really good for us. We can just six here. Time to bust out some combustion. Let's get to work. Honestly, if I I don't know if that I would have played it any differently. But I almost want to get the unraveled earth copied, the rolling skins copied. With Leah to get things like their Jason or Heimerdinger. Wow. Do we? Do we just give it vulnerable first? What do we do all after though? I think that's right. That levels up our Ziggs. It's almost, almost assuredly gonna level for six. Yeah, okay, sweet. Let her rip! I'd be shocked. Okay, I was gonna say, if they didn't attack, I'd be shocked. Um, this only blocks one damage, so we're gonna go over here. Hmm, I really don't want to put our Ziggs too low, but... We have enough ways to protect him. Oof, wow, this is a lot of damage, actually. Okay. What if we copy our Ziggs, actually? Is that crazy? I don't think it is. This is so obvious what we're trying to do though, right? But if they vengeance, that's their whole turn and we can still we still have a second one to back it up. <laughs> right play? Maybe not, but certainly a fun one. And this only gets off a huge attack on the overworld too, so this is actually went pretty well for us, I think. I think this is actually pretty solid. Is this gonna do six damage just from this? I think it might. Surely one of them will live long enough to get Absolver off the next turn, right? Let's see how much of this does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That did way more than I expected. Don't worry. I brought my own bio-X. Wow, that was bonkers. That was so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. It's kinda of getting like summer weather. It's like 90 degrees today. I love it. I I'm like it's it's just that time of year when I'm, I put on shorts and then like a t-shirt, but I also have a big fat sweater on top, but just because it's cozy. But it's just, just, just getting a bit too much, so it's a bit too hot now. Even like at night in, in the house. Ooh, awkward hand. Do we keep Preservarium? 
I really like Preservarium. Hmm. Mm, not the best start. Rock Hopper is always nice, but I prefer something a little bit different. Like, I can even. Ancient Prep is always really nice in turn one. Or even like a turn two. Uh, Invent of Chemist is really nice to synergize with Desert Naturalist. Does that deck play Fleet Feather Tracker? I've played some Lux Lally, but I don't remember Fleet Feather Tracker in there. If it's made of sand, I can write. We will just pass if they offer it back. I'm okay with this. Brings this guy to one, right? Like, this really wasn't that great of a play for them, I don't think. Maybe I should have waited a turn to pray Preservarium in case we end up hitting Talia, we could duplicate it, right? But, not that in the world. Oh, sure. So that'll be big enough to block our Grumpy Rock Bear pretty effectively, but not kill it? Do we even want to do that then? Probably. Because we can use our Desert Naturalist to kill the Petroslate Broadwing. Probably not going to attack with as a naturalist, just want to keep it healthy, in case. Oh dang, that's kind of bonkers. That was like their whole turn though, and like it's just a 6-1, right? Like that's not that threatening to us right now. We do need to get some actual units here though. Unraveler's not bad. Ziggs is really good. Okay, that's only bad if they get the vulnerable or the overwhelmed lady, the voice of the sea, is it? Oh, that's tough. So they're probably just gonna pull our small dude now, our desert naturalist. And I think we're just gonna have to eat the damage, honestly. I doubt, I doubt they pull our six here. I think it's gonna be huge. Sure. It doesn't feel great, but I feel like we can deal that thing easier later on. Well, dang. None of those do it. I really need extra units, I think. So what do we do here? We get blown out by Tentacle Smash. If I played Herald of the Champ Herald of the Magus. Oof. That's not good. That's really bad, actually. I mean, we had to kill the challenger. And I really, really, really want to play Preservarium. Hold on, Tentacle Smash is only three mana, isn't it? Four mana? Ah! Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Okay, this feels much better. I'm feeling much, 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 much better right now. Oh, okay, let's go. We got him. Okay, we we were like holding on there. It took a while, but we got there. 
I don't know if I like that list as much as um, the older one, I guess. Like, I don't even know what, like when Fleet Feather Tracker came out. I'm not a huge fan of that. Let me see if I can find the deck list or similar one to what I use. Okay, so uh, yeah, it has Hired Gun, that's right. Instead of like uh, Fleet Feather Tracker. And it has Duran Protégé. I love Duran Protégé. Definitely one of my favorite cards in the game. At least like for the artwork and stuff. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, okay. I like this one too. This is an interesting one. I haven't played it myself yet, but it's like one of the really cool decks like you wouldn't really expect when the when the expansion came out. Minefield's not bad, but not something I really want like at the start of the game. Okay, this is pretty solid. Um, honestly we can probably go ancient prep first. Okay, well now I'm just gonna go in Mind of Chemist. No trade. And then we'll go second Mind of Chemist. And then attack. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder what he's gonna get out of this more other than like blocking here, right? Like, he's not gonna be able to. I mean, it's gonna be a while before he gets use out of it by pulling a Tilly or something. Oh, Unraveler's nice. Ooh, Unraveler's actually really nice. I don't think they can go wide enough here to punish us for. Uh, I probably should have unraveled Earth the first because I knew they were gonna spawn. They would spawn the tentacle. That's kind of silly of me. Gonna do this, and then when this one clears up, we'll get the board space. I'd be surprised if they don't take this damage. That's getting dangerous them for though, with Absolver Talia, right? Like that's pretty scary. Okay, so they probably have to play a unit first. Oof. Life has so much to Just open attacking. I can get it. That would be respectable. <laughs> a chance to live. But fortunately that lets us copy our endless devout, right? Meet me. I think we'll throw all of them under the bus. I'm not too scared of that. And Lowy is vulnerable, that feels really good. Oh, I almost want to open with Carol Omegas now. And then just to lead next turn. Onto another Roiling Sand. Mm. I think we have the we have the open attack, right? I'm just worried about another tentacle smash. Uh, honestly, a Unleashed Energy would not be bad. You fell for it. Do we just kill a Lowie? Probably, right? Like a
Okay, if they play another Lowy, I think we probably shoot the Tentacle, because that thing's getting huge. Oh, what if they have another Tentacle Smash right now? That'd be really bad. We, might, we should probably do this before we Ancient Prep. And this will give us another blocker for next turn, just in case. Sharp Sight, wow, okay. Sartilia is vulnerable. We are threatening Hourglass. We move against Ooh. fear, against doubt. Wow, those are both really. Or maybe maybe we go quicksand, probably right to stop overwhelm. Because this is gonna pull something. Sure. <gasps> That's really bad. So we probably just want to kill him. <laughs> oh, we can't even kill him. Oh no! Well, we'll have to open attack then. So how do we stop this? Keep our alive for sure, for sure. We lose to another. No, we don't. We don't lose to another. Uh, sharp sight, because we can just use one half of the insolver and then still Harold the makes to give the Talia overwhelm anyway. I don't think they have any direct damage, right? So I think that's fine. Yeah. Gosh darn it, we can't actually. Um. Hail the Magus this turn. So we'll just do this. Are we gonna get lethal in the open attack, actually? I don't think we are. I think we have to go Hail the Magus, right? Uh, let's just something good. Please, please, please. Oh, jeepers. How much damage are we pushing? Because I'd have to block a fearsome. If we if they block fearsome and that we're only pushing seven. The great Magus leads us to glory. We're also okay if they use tentacle smash though. Yeah, because this thing dies. And they don't have fearsome blockers. I think we just win. Oh, how much health does she get when she levels up? <laughs> Our power, I mean. Surely it's just one, right? Okay, so it's too easy. I think we win. I think we win. And they already used two sharp sides, right? So they can only stop four damage here. Stop the. F stop two of these somehow. Let's go! All right, that's what I'm talking about. Three and one, not a bad start to the day. Um, but I'm going to go leave for two seconds. Gotta use, use the bathroom and grab some tea. Maybe I'm in the mood for tea. So I'll be back in just a minute.
Okay, I'm back, but I forgot, <laughs> I forgot my drink out in the um other room, so that's unfortunate. But I'm gonna go play probably two more games, and then I'm gonna head out. Um, but yeah, funny story. I um, I went, I think I already told this on stream. I don't have a huge friend circle where I tell all my stories to, and so I'm like, of all the places I could have told it, I'm pretty sure my stream's like one of the only ones. <laughs> but I went to a baseball game. Oh, this person's six and no one thralls. Very cool. I've never played thralls ever. <laughs> it's not that I don't think it's interesting, but I always just, like stick with my favorite decks. I never really learn new decks and like unless an expansion comes out. Huh. In that case, this honestly looks pretty good. Pushes some extra damage and forces them to use resources like avalanche and stuff on our non-huge important units, right? I'll right, we'll actually go ancient type first then. I don't know if probably pretty good. Do they have like a two cost unit? I guess they do the little little old dude. Is that someone's a car now? I don't know all the names for the new people. Um Yeah, the Harbinger Thralls. I think we will take this trade. Cause it's like one of their only blockers early game, except for Sandra, right? Probably gonna play Lissandra now though, which is fine. We can just invent the chemist and preservarium. Ooh. Ooh. I love my card draw, but I guess I'll just save it for when we can find a Talia. Uh, and so anyways, the story. I went to a baseball game. Ooh. Honestly, Dustin Naturals would not be a bad hit. Uh, with four mana. We'll... <gasps> so let's just open path. Let's just open path. Just open. We're fine, we're fine. Well, let's take the black here, I imagine. We'll push for damage. And Preservarium. Sweet. Sandra's vulnerable. That's good. And we can... Preservarium now. Uh, honestly, I'd really not mind fighting our Desert Natto soon, because they're probably going to summon this thing next turn. We have quicksand at least, which is very nice. But I went to a baseball game with my old high school, because like, three years ago is when I graduated or whatever, and like, I know none of the kids now. I felt like a completely different, like, you know, like, culture of... Oh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. And so, it feels totally different. I don't know any kids, and like, the kids I did know, like, the one who was like, before, like, a few months ago, he's like, Matt never, like, he because I'm an IT teacher, he's like, Matt never came back. He said he'd come back after he graduated from high school or whatever. He said he'd come back and visit. And so I was like, sweet, I come back to visit the kid. I didn't even recognize him at first because he was like two feet taller than when I saw him. Okay, 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 okay. No attacks. No extra advances, please. <gasps> no! Ah. Hmm. What do we do about that? I don't even know if it's here, honestly. Well, this is a bit of a shame. Our Ziggs is gonna be leveled. How do we how do we best approach this? If we play Ziggs, only one of our That makes me feel more comfortable threat negation. Uh, eight mana. We would threaten Hourglass. Oh, jeepers. But I also want to keep up enough for... Absolver. Ah, I don't know what to do here. This is just really good at burning out the Thralls deck. I've really struggled to win on board when I've played this deck. So we can try to hit... Lissandra here. Because I don't think there's any within the burst speed. Sure. So we can do this. And this. I'd be surprised if they block with the Thrall. I'd, I'd be surprised if they don't block anything though. Like sure, they just throw your curator in front, right? What could they be thinking of here? A flash freeze? Okay. So, our quicksand is like our best hope here. 
We are very happy with this. I think it's very, very risky to go for Absolver when they have so much mana for a freeze or something. I'm very happy to unravel the earth here if they... Alright, another left sound, that's fine. He's probably just gonna hit the thralls, but... Um, honestly... Honestly, I think we could go Ancient Pep to get a better look at what we'll draw next turn. Ooh. Probably Herald of Magus. Big chunky blocker. Sure. Two thralls isn't the end of the world, though. I'm not too scared about that. Because if they spawn that thrall... Unless they burst speed... this is We don't even care about this anymore. I just wanted to get card luck, right? I don't think that really matters. We just want the extra blocker. Now, even if they burst speed spawn the thralls, we'll have chump blockers without sacrificing our Talia and everything. Because we can't go with Magus and Quicksand, honestly. That may be, maybe maybe a mistake? I don't know. It depends if they can chuck out a bunch of Thralls. Because we might be able to win next turn. Arsenal's going to be pretty big, honestly. We might have to go... That's pretty bad. That's kind of annoying. That's really annoying. We can't even already there king. Ooh, that's really, really, really bad. We can't interact with any of this. Right, like even if we wanted to invite a or something. Okay, okay, I get it. Lots of lots of big big dudes coming at me. Sure, sure, sure. I think we have to go Arsenal. I don't think we won otherwise. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we win otherwise. You want a big Elusive! Scout! There we go. They could easily flash freeze us though and that loses us the game. Yikes. 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 No freeze, no freeze. They only have two cards. There's no way to freeze, right? Oh. Oh, they could just entomb, actually. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. So. Let's just Absolver. We'll still get some damage in, right? I don't know if it's enough, but hey, you never know. What do we even do here? This gains us two life, I guess. One life. We need Quicksand, though. What happens if we do this? We could kill a Thrall, but we'd lose our Talia. Is that worth it? All rocks erode eventually. I don't know if it's worth it. Is it? Maybe not, let's see. Like threading a needle. I think we have to, because we can't beat three thralls if even if we even if we top deck a quicksand, right? Man, that's so frustrating. They had to freeze in their two cards. Ah! We were so close. Really? Both their uh, cards were the three sisters. That's so, so uh, frustrating. So I think we just lose them, right? 
mean, maybe not because our arsenal will be huge with lifesteal. So as long as we hit... Quicksand! Oh! 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 Uh, hold on a second. We could honestly keep our arsenal alive, right? Because we just give this one negative four. Ah, uh, but it's only, that's only, that's not protecting much health. Though. That would only stop two damage from going through. Where if we do this, it'll stop way, way, way more damage. But how do we, how do we win though, otherwise? Right? I don't think there's any way we win otherwise. Oh, goodness, wait. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're just gonna need right of negation on our ice shard. Right, because this one will deal put us to one, and then next rounds will put us to zero. So we're just gonna have to keep up right of negation. Thank goodness we have life steal, right? Oof. We're alive, we're alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, baby. All right, all right, all right. Red negation. Gonna be huge. There's no way they drew another freeze, right? Right, please? Right, 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 right. There's no way they main deck ice shard, right? Maybe? Ah! No, no. Okay. Gosh dang it, they had double freeze and ice shard, like, ah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do differently, man. I cannot beat this deck. You live and learn. Unfortunately, I just haven't done the learning part. <laughs> okay. Dang, another Thrall's matchup. So what do we do differently this time? Probably just look harder for our combo pieces. Okay. Rock Hopper. Stands beneath me and wins behind me. I don't think we trade it this time. We're gonna be able to push extra damage. Cause of the they harbinger here. Ooh, uh honestly. Hopefully we can get unraveled earth on the thunder here. And then just start next time and then it's about rats. I'm very happy if they block here so that we can. It's vulnerable to right of the arcane later, because that was a problem last game, right? We couldn't shoot the Sanja. Ah, uh, that's bad. Hunting for Desert Naturalist ASAP. We didn't find it last game. Hmm. It feels pretty bad. But I think they could. Get it here if they have the right cards, right? Yeah, that's really, really, really bad. Alright, six is something. We can at least stun it this turn. Dang it! I hate that. Oh gosh, we can't even stun it. What the heck? I 
What the heck is this? How have you ever beat thralls, my dude? Okay. One more, one more, one more. We gotta finish about 500. Man, that's so tough. I have no idea how to beat thralls. Someone's at the door. I might have to meet the mic in a second when they come in. Oh, Sundisk. I haven't played it against this one in a while. Uh, okay, happy actually with this. This feels pretty solid start. We're just gonna wait until turn two to Inventive Chemist. Okay, sweet. So we can just Ancient Pipe on turn one. Uh, Quicksand. I don't know if that's super great in this matchup. But it doesn't even hit. I don't even know. Um. Well, that'd be funny if we had our own Desert Naturalist under their Sun Disc. That'd actually be kind of funny. Inventive Chemist. Get the Scrappy Bomb going. Maybe ping for two. I wouldn't mind. Oh. I'll take that trade. Because that's just going to hit our... Ancient pep anyway, right? That doesn't matter. Just get into some chump blockers always feels decent. Hmm. Unravel Earth is gonna hopefully tag Zero next turn. Cause what do they have for two minute here? Another rock hopper. It's possible for them to get rid of these both before they play Zera. Okay, sweet. That makes it, that seems like it's gonna make it much more difficult. Oh, honestly, we might just shoot Sun Disk. If they have these random negation. Oh, sweet. Okay. That feels pretty solid. I'm very happy with that. Now, if we find, like, Talia or Ziggs, I think we're in business. Why not create an extra blocker? It seems kind of odd, right? Like, you're gonna draw that card anyways. You're not gonna be able to play it now, so it doesn't matter what the draw was. Talia, Talia, Talia! I can't even stay actually right now. <laughs> okay, zig, zig, zigs! Oh, and that's that's actually very, very nice too. I think we Ancient Pep instead of Unraveled Earth. And we're looking for that dude. I was gonna say, he doesn't want to attack with Zerath. Cause like this doesn't do anything. Okay, six, seven, eight. So we can do this. Six. We could threaten Hourglass. But the thing is, they're anything they spawn is vulnerable, so we get to really mess with combat. However, oh, never mind. Now we don't get to do as much. I forgot about that. Hmm. That's okay. I think we're still looking okay at the moment. Not fantastic, but sure. Hmm. Alright, unless Devout's gonna get shot by the Orling Sands next turn, right? But that's pretty okay with us. Because we'll just be able to Desert Naturalist it. Oh wait, oh, it shot our Clockling. Okay, that's actually better. I don't think we care if they, um... Hmm. 
I'm tempted to go dozen. Okay, if they play a card. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Very, very okay with that. Um, hmm. Kill an ally. Kill an ally. <laughs> I like that. Because that stops the ping from Zera uh, in the... Oh, hmm. This probably is not actually going to go the way I hoped it would. No way they use their own right indication. Sure. We're very okay with that because we still get the... Now they have to put their... Zara at that risk. Like, I think that's really, really, really good for us. They are my people, and I am there. If they want to kill our things, right? Next turn, our attack would be nasty. We could go. Really? That's insane. I'm surprised about that. So we could open attack with Talia. But I think it's probably better. Ooh, that's actually better. And then we can burst speed the unleash energy under this other sarcophagus. And if they play another Xerath right now, it's vulnerable. And I, thought there was something mm. to see. Looks like you're I don't like that. I'll drag you out of there if I have to. Hmm, I really don't like that. Is it worth it to and what does that do for us? I don't think it does much. We push like an extra two damage, I guess. This doesn't actually so at least be protection from the Xerath for a good bit, right? Like two landmark worth of destruction. Oh, pfft. I forgot we would have summoned um an extra five four. I probably should have done the naturalist earlier. That's okay. Ooh, Tilly's very nice. Tell the people what, you, the have people what you have seen today. Are they going to attack here? What can they do to attack here? I don't know. That's actually hilarious. Oh my gosh, that's even funnier though. <laughs> and we still have quicksand just in case something bad happens this turn. You'll do. Excuse me. Well, they're really going in, aren't they? 
And we can always react with... I just want to chump, clear their chump blockers, right? Because we have quicksand to see if they... Oh, I guess I gave them a landmark for that, didn't I? That's okay. Because right now, if they try to... They have to develop or else we just... Right. Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. I don't know if that's enough. Open attack still looks pretty lethal. Especially with two fearsomes on board. That's gonna leave... Like... Hmm. Cannon, that's funny. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a Saint Soldier. Okay. Just rip it, I think. Oh, you know what? I could have, um... Given something negative four to make it a non-fearsome blocker. <laughs> We can just unleash energy. Or howling abyss if we need to. Hmm, is that worth it? Probably not, right? And then we just quick stand to keep our stuff alive. Well at least our Tilly alive. Hmm, we could kill them though. But they almost always have quicksand too, right? Yeah, sure. That doesn't save your Azir. <laughs> okay, that's actually really funny. Should we have cannoned? Maybe we should have cannoned. That would have stopped. The, that would have let six damage go through from Talia, right? It's kind of funny. Mm. Don't like that. Gonna sit on the sun disc, right? Ooh, baby, looks pretty good. Do you have four to unit? This is so weird. <laughs> Let's go! What a game. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. That was a pretty pretty solid game to end on, huh? I like that. That was funny. How did you get to see Howling Abyss in that Leo Ziggs deck? Awesome! I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said earlier, if you are watching on YouTube, make sure you come join by on Twitch and chat live. I always have fun with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.